Hey everyone, hiking up a steep hill, so it's a perfect time to say hi and update on interesting things. I don't think I've done a video since getting back from crewing my friend Bethany uh, at Badwater 135. Uh, so uh, going out there to Death Valley, oh, it was my second time out there, but first time out there for the race. And what an incredible place. I think the whole time uh, we just felt really blessed to be able to be out there in that moment, in that experience, and uh, you know, do something just incredibly epic together. Uh, so Bethany did really well. She finished. So that's that was incredible. Yeah, uh, I have trouble, um, you know, coming up with even words to to describe it. But it's definitely not something I'd ever forget. And uh, and we have a couple of crazy stories. Um, so I paced Bethany for about. 30-ish, 50k-ish miles. Um, I think two of the five runs were at night. We went up Father Crowley at night together and that was maybe the most interesting segment of the uh, 135 for me. Um, so we're going up and it's night. And we both happened to look down and over the hill at the same time. And we saw eyes watching us. <laughs> Immediately, you know, me since my cougar encounter, I was just like, oh, I can't even. Like, I can't deal with this right now. You know, my nervous system was like shot off. It's probably a fox or a coyote or something. But still... You just never know. But yeah, we saw that. And then uh, later on in the climb, we had a pickup truck slow down to talk to us. You know, asked us what we were doing out there so late. And, you know, Beth told him. Uh, and luckily, uh, might have been another crew vehicle come up behind him and pushed him along so but yeah I mean we we had a, a, a walkie-talkie with us and I had a whistle so but yeah that was an interesting part I saw so many stars um, you know, I'm not used to seeing stars where I live at at least not that many. It's all it's planets, satellite shooting stars. Just so incredible. Alright, I'm getting swarmed by bugs. Ugh. Lovely. Well, my there. Almost there. Oh, but yeah, water was, bad water was just so fantastic. And, um, you know, after the race, watching the final runner come through, oh man, I teared up watching that. And, uh, and hearing, you know, people who ran, you know, their stories of success or, or not making it, things that happened 
to their bodies. So the weather was different this year, uh, a little cooler, a little humid, and uh, there were people's bodies who didn't respond well to the humidity. But, you know, Beth and I being from the East Coast, we were okay with that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I was so concerned. I was anxious for the first several hours of the race. Uh, so it was like 100 degrees at night. And we had wind gusts of about 40 miles per hour. It was, it was insane. And... Wow, the runners, oh my goodness. Yeah, I, they had to slow down a lot to deal with that. But uh, I was literally questioning the heat training I did in the sauna. I'm like, was this enough heat training to be able to be out here in these elements for like two days straight? I was like, oh my gosh. But... Once I, once I got used to it, which I adapted pretty fast. Um, so, you know, being out there, I got really used to it. In fact, the second night when Beth and I were out running, it was, I don't know, 90 degrees. I froze to death. So we were going uphill and had to walk. I froze. Uh, I got to a point where I had to tell my crew, it was like, someone has to jump in and cover for me. I'm getting too cold. So I got in our vehicle and put on sweatpants and a shirt, and then a long sleeve shirt, sweatpants, yeah, sweatshirt jacket. Yep. And then, I, oh man, um, didn't have much sleep either. Well, none of us did. That was also something else. <sighs> By the end of the race, when we were going up Whitney Portal, <laughs> I'd sit down in the vehicle, you know, just for like a minute, not even, and I'd be falling asleep just as soon as I sat down. <sighs> but, oh, it's gorgeous up there. And look out from Whitney Portal and just see how far you've come. Incredible. So, all right, guys. Ooh. <clears throat> well. That was bad water 135. Um, I went to run run club, Butler County Milers, twice this week. We did five mile runs. So we did that this morning too. So I'm on my second run for the day. I plan on doing a third later on. So 15 total for the day. Um, just breaking it up currently works better with my schedule right now. But that's fun. It's different uh, hanging out with other runners and learning new things. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, and then uh, afterwards, Stephen and I registered for the Baker Trail Ultra. That'll be next month. We're gonna run the 50 miler together. You know, see if we're nice to each other the whole time. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've done 50 miles together. So, yeah.
besides Baker, um, Wheel Creek 100 is in October. Hooray. <laughs> yeah, be my third attempt at that. It's extremely hard. Uh, I don't know. I'm not excited about it. <laughs> but I think that once I'm in it and doing it, I'll be excited. It's just like one of those things. And then after, after that, nothing probably until next year. So, and we don't know what next year is going to bring us. I'm usually all planned out, but, you know, just the way things have been lately, I haven't made any plans. There's really nothing wrong with that. So maybe see you guys at Baker. I know a couple people that are going to Baker. See you guys at Wheel Creek. I know some people going there as well. Good luck if you're racing. Good luck if you're racing soon. Coming up. Okay. Got another hill. I'm gonna get up it. <laughs> Bye everyone.